Metro Drive episode 40 something, four or five. I really should keep track, but I don't. Complacency kills. I made a post uh, a couple days ago. Um, it was just talking about um, the danger of complacency. And uh, one of my old uh, teammates, Blue Belt, he's like, uh, he sent me a message, says, what does this mean? And I was saying that complacency, just being complacent, not really trying to advance, just being being comfortable. That's death. Okay, I, I explained to him, you need to look at things like you're on a treadmill. What happens if you stand, stand on a treadmill? You move backwards. What happens if you walk slowly on a treadmill? You might still move backwards. What happens if you, like to get move, to move forward on a treadmill and take, you know, you have to keep moving, putting forth lots of effort. Something I always think about a lot of like, of people who don't want to move, they're just comfortable, they want things to remain the way they are, is resting water, still water, okay? If water doesn't move, you will get like the grossest, nastiest smell of just sitting, not moving water. That's why I like coffee bars, they have, you know, running water just through the thing to dip ice cream spoons in, the whole nine yards, right? Um, and so I spent, I lived in the country, I spent a lot of time around one, running water. So even if you've got something, like you, like you may have done something great and you got a little bit of success and, uh, and you reached a goal, the goal is not the end goal. Like I just got my black belt and Coach Mo and I, are literally talking about like I feel like I started over. I feel like I started over. The more like just ten, you know, almost eleven years for me, however many more for Coach Muhammad, I'm like, I just feel like there's so much more I could know. So it's always hungry to advance, hungry to move forward. And that's challenging because like it's so easy to rest on like what you've done. Like, oh, you know, this kind of builds on the last video. We've always done it that way. So that that you need to innovate. You need to innovate whatever you're going to do. If you reach one goal, what's your next goal? Better yet, write a series of goals so that you don't just, you're not having this conversation every time you reach it. It should be, when I reach my, like that's, look at, take, take jujitsu, okay? I want to reach blue. Then I want to reach purple, brown, black, you know, for the kids, whatever. I want to reach go through the ranks, right? I it's, it's sequential. And then at black, like, because black should never be, one thing, reason that black belt is so takes, it takes so long to get a black belt that I don't I don't know very many people who once they achieve it, they're like, woo, that goal's done. Now I can stop training jujitsu. It's just not going to happen. If, if all you're seeking is the black belt, all you're seeking is one goal. And it's, it's like, it's like trying to get, it's like chasing a rainbow. You're never gonna reach it. It's never gonna be satisfied, okay? You think you're gonna go after it and it's, you're just never gonna be satisfied. So always advancing, whatever that is. If that's school, you want another degree. I know people like they're just perpetual students, okay? It's not my style, but they're good at it. Okay, they got like 18 letters before and after their name, okay? Keep chasing that. Uh, if it is, if it's jujitsu, if it's martial arts, if it's athletics, if it's character development, if it's, you know, a spiritual goal, okay? If it, whatever that is, if it's uh, maybe you want a, a financial goal, you have to keep chasing those because otherwise, once you get comfortable, I'm telling you, like Hollywood's a good example of what happens when you get comfortable. How many of them have been to rehab? How many of them get clean and go back to rehab? Like a lot, right? I mean, just run through, you probably think of 12 right off the top of your head. Okay, they get comfortable, they got, they're not chasing anything anymore because everything's done for them. They, they've made it. So that's what I mean when I say complacency kills. Guys, I'm Coach David with Metro Jiu-Jitsu. Always keep pushing. I can't. I can always keep challenging yourself. The second you're comfortable, you need to change it up. Now, whatever that change is, I don't know, but uh, it's going to be custom catered to your position. As always, I will see you guys on the mats.